Welcome to our video, which is an overview of our literature review, as well as the wiki that has been designed by our group. So let's go ahead and get started. The first is a summation of our literature review, entitled, The Lack of Professional Development for Technology-Focused Project-Based Instruction. The purpose of this present, for an understanding of our wiki's topic and material, this is an overview of our literature review. Each circle is an actual statement from the literature review to provide a brief summary of the information in the actual paper and to give further meaning to the items in our wiki. A quick disclaimer though. As I read, I will not be reading the source names only because it would be extraneous and take extra time. If you are interested in the sources, I will include them at the end of this presentation. So let's begin with the literature review. The TET-centric nature of current educational institutions will not prepare the current generation for skills required in the 21st century, which require more technological know-how, critical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, collaboration skills, and educational independence. In order for students to remain competitive in the world they will be working and living in, they must have technological application skills and the ability to think critically, both of which are provided by a problem-based learning curriculum, or PBL. Based on a study conducted by the U.S. Department of Education in 2010, there is a consensus that educators are not being adequately prepared in their districts to utilize and implement technology into current educational best practices. According to Bennett, Matten, and Curvin, because of these millennials' development through the advent of constant technological breakthroughs, they have developed different learning styles and patterns that do not necessarily fit in with old school teaching models. They understand the world through a technological eye and see the digitization of the world as natural. The desire for the teacher to be the sage on the stage has evolved into the guide on the side, who assists learners with collaborating together, building critical thinking skills in order to construct their own knowledge and develop solutions to problems presented in the classroom, which is what problem-based learning advocates. Before we can delve into the pedagogical side of learning, the integration of technology must be discussed since it has a huge influence on modern curriculum. Problem-based learning included. As has been stated, professional development in regards to technology has been lacking and weak. In 2009, the National Center for Education Statistics indicated that districts were not giving enough time for technological training to educators. It is not enough for teachers just to have access to a variety of technological tools. They must be given proper training to integrate those tools into useful and purposeful lessons, or else technology is just being used for the sake of being used. Millennials also may not have more familiarity with technology than the older generation, but this does not mean that they are aware of how to use these tools in an academic sense. Teachers who are adequately trained can meld the two worlds, modern technology and academics, into one. Studies have shown that technology usage in the classroom for meaningful learning increases student motivation and participation and creates meaningful connections for students to the world around them, which further guides their desire for inquiry and engagement with their learning. Project-based learning has roots that are older than the advent of technology in the classroom, though. It is a type of learning that is constructivist and social by nature. Based on previous research and constructivist studies conducted by Jean Piaget, Lev Vygotsky, Jerome Bruner, and John Dewey, and a host of others, it has been determined that students learn best when they are able to construct their own knowledge from social interaction and collaboration, self-discovery, and challenging activities that are formed from connections made with the world around them. When implemented correctly, teachers become facilitators of knowledge rather than the all-knowing expert. Instead, students, frequently in groups, use technology as a tool to research and discover information that builds into larger constructs of knowledge in relation to a problem that has been posed by the teacher, thus problem-based learning. Here are the references that were mentioned before in case you are interested in looking up any of the information that has been discussed. Now, on to the wiki. Here's the quote of the day. 
Tell me and I'll forget. Show me and I may remember. Involve me and I'll understand. So welcome to our wiki, the implementation of project-based learning by Donna Cousins and Maria Martinez. So we start off with our homepage, which has some background information about project-based learning. We also see here a visual about the 21st century learner, as well as the 21st century educator. Now there are two ways to navigate our wiki. We do have the navigation bar on the side, which has the titles of each of the pages, as well as hyperlinked list over here on the homepage itself. Number one, what is project-based learning? What exactly comprises project-based learning and makes it unique? Well, if you click on the link, the first thing that you'll notice is that we actually have all of our pages opening up into separate windows. So here we can see that we have a link to what is project-based learning as well as some information and a video. I strongly encourage you to make sure that you are paying very, very close attention to the text as we have hyperlinks spread out throughout the wiki. Since it is a separate page, we can go ahead and just close the page and we are still on the home page itself. Number two, professional development strategies for PBL implementation. What are effective professional development strategies for incorporating PBL strategies? What are considered effective professional development stra strategies in general? Well, again, if we click on the link, we can see that a new window opens up and we have information about professional development that is provided. We also have hyperlinked information, including National Staff Development Council's Professional Development Standards, an entire book of standards set forth by the National Development Council. It is in a PDF format, so it can be saved or printed. We also have case studies on our page as well, one of which is done in a PDF format, a second which is done as a video that takes place here in the state of Texas. When we close the screen, we go to our third link, which is theorists and researchers, the forefathers of project-based learning. Researchers and educators who have made significant contributions to the world of curriculum and pedagogical study, including PBL. When we click on the link, we can see that there's a variety of researchers that are included on the page. They are in alphabetical order, as well as videos and information. Again, I strongly encourage you to look at the links and to go ahead and click on them. We have links that are connected to free text. For example, this is an entire book by Jean Piaget that is available for free for download. As we can see here. For books that were not available for free, we also have links that are connected to Amazon.com should you be interested in purchasing the book for yourself. We also have handouts. For example, we have handouts here from, from Benjamin Bloom, who of course invented Bloom's taxonomy. This is the regular taxonomy, and here is a handout for his digital taxonomy, where each of the hierarchies from the taxonomy have different technologies that have been placed in each part to help enhance that part of the taxonomy. Again, it is done in PDF format, so you can either save it or print it. So once we close the screen, we go to four, project-based learning lessons, ideas, and samples. Many times when teachers are learning about a new concept or something that they wanna do in their classroom, one of the hardest things that they find are finding lessons that they can incorporate. Here is an entire list of resources that educators may use to find lessons and resources, ideas, and information about incorporating project-based learning into their classrooms. There's a variety of content as far as subject matter for different subjects, history, English, math, science, and so forth, as well as grade levels. If you go further below, what you'll notice is a humorous com uh, comic strip that describes the typical school day for many students, but we also have here at the bottom in these circles, samples of project-based learning. The first is the actual assignment. The rest of the circles are student-made samples 
for the assignment. So please enjoy. Number five are resources. Links to technology sites, programs, and apps that can help facilitate the usage of PBL in the classroom and maintain student interest. So once you've decided to use project-based learning, here we have a list of links that can get you started. These have been broken up into categories. The first are presentation tools, so different presentation tools beyond PowerPoint, video creation tools, quiz and game tools, collaboration tools, and then finally miscellaneous tools. Links that didn't really fit in with some of the other categories, but useful nonetheless. Six is a glossary of terms. Terms that are necessary for understanding the concept of project-based learning. Now, the interesting thing about the terms is you will notice that there are no definitions that are written right next to them. That is because each term has been hyperlinked. So, for example, if I click on professional development, you'll notice that another window opens up to the glossary of education reform, which provides a very detailed definition and information about professional development. And last but not least, our APA references used for the wiki as well as for the literature review. So again, if you are interested in looking up any additional source information, you may use the references that we have included. And there is a zoom menu so that you can see the small text. I hope you enjoy our project-based learning wiki and thank you very much.